But we begin today with big financial news. The Federal Reserve raising interest rates by half a percentage point in an effort to curb inflation. It's the first time in two decades the central bank has raised rates this much. News Nation correspondent Tom, Tom Negevin is live for us. And Tom, this news not really coming as a surprise. No, it certainly did not. Something needs to be done. The Fed chairman pointed that out very clearly today. Nicole, as you say, the first time the central bank has hiked rates this much in 20 years, the second hike since March. The current picture is plain to see. The labor market is extremely tight and inflation is much too high. The Fed chairman getting right down to it. Our economic struggles and the reasons for them, COVID lockdowns in China, the war in Ukraine, and a labor shortage here in the U.S. But the news, not all grim. Households and businesses are in very strong financial shape. The economy is strong and is well positioned to handle tighter monetary policy. The Fed raised interest rates in March for the first time since 2018 by a quarter point. Today, another half point, the largest increase since 2000, and there may be more to come as Americans struggle with rising costs from the gas pump to the grocery store. Businesses struggling too, from utility companies to winemakers. You will see a price increase. To the neighborhood flower shop in East Texas. I have never seen shortages like we have in the past couple of years. It's a different world right this moment. The president getting ahead of the news at the White House today. Citing the war in Ukraine as an enormous factor in economic disruption worldwide, touting his administration's work to pay down the national debt. That we're on track to cut the federal deficit by another, another $1.5 trillion by the end of this fiscal year. The biggest decline in a single year ever in American history. And that would also be about $200 billion more than the White House's own estimate from earlier this year, Nicole. But tonight, Americans are being told to expect more pain before we get there. All right, Tom Negevin, live for us in New York. Thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.